everybody to find Arts and Crafts time. It's Arts and Crafts time. Okay, we're gonna make another craft for Lag Ba Omer. Another bonfire, but this time it's gonna have children dancing around the fire. Super fun, okay? What about um, this? And we're gonna quickly review the story also of Rabbi Akiva, okay? So to just move over a little bit so the screen can see. So there was once a man and his name was, was Akiva. Akiva was a simple man. He was a shepherd. A shepherd is a, a person who takes care of the sheep. And Akiva loved the sheep and he took very good care of it. And he worked for a very rich man, Kalba Savua. And Kalba Savua had a daughter. Her name was Rachel. And Rachel would see she, uh, Akiva with the sheep and how well he took care of the sheep and how nice he was and good-hearted he was and she decided that she wanted to marry him and when she decided that her father was very nah. he was very upset he said i'm so rich you can marry anyone but she said no i see something very good in akiva i want to marry akiva and so they got married and kaba Sabua said i'm not going to give you any money if you marry this akiva and she married him anyway and one day and her name was rachel and one day rachel was walking and she saw water tapping on a rock, tap, 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 and it made a hole through the rock. And she said, if water that is so soft could make a hole through a rock, surely, Akiva, you who are so soft and the Torah that is so wonderful can definitely go into your heart and you can learn the Torah. Even though you're old, you still can learn the Torah. And Akiva said, you think so? Because Akiva really wants to learn the Torah. And Rachel said, yes, I believe that you can. Go learn. And he goes, where should I learn? And Rachel said, you're going to have to start in pre-1A, in kindergarten, in nursery, in olive bay class. And so he went to school with all the little children. It was a little silly. He was sitting with all the little kids. But he wanted so badly to learn the Torah, he went to learn with the little kids. And he was learning with the little kids, the olive bays. And first he went to olive, class olive. Then he went to class bays. Then he went to class gimel until he became a big, big Talmud Chacham, a big, big Tzaddik. And he wasn't Akiva anymore, he was Rabbi Akiva. And people from all over came to learn from Rabbi Akiva because he gave such good classes and such good circle times and such good shiurim that they came from near and far and he was known as the big Rabbi Akiva. And he went home and he heard his wife saying that he that she would let him learn for even longer. So first he learned for 12 years, and then he learned for another 12 years. And then when he came back with all his Talmidim walking behind him, following him, and his wife came running out because she missed him so much, Rabbi Akiva said, stop, this is a very special woman. Because of her, I was able to learn the Torah because of her because of her insight, because she saw that I could be a big tzaddik from her support and her love. She's a very special woman. Let her come, you know, she's very special. And that's really the story of Rabbi Akiva. The end part of the story of Rabbi Akiva is a little bit sad because his, his Talmidim, his students started to get sick because Hashem was a little bit disappointed in them. Even though they were big tzaddikim, they weren't so nice to their their friends they didn't share nicely maybe they they weren't so good to their friends maybe they didn't get such beautiful mitzvah notes like you children send marachaya so Hashem made them a little bit sick and Lagba Omer is the day that they stop getting sick which makes us very happy and that's why we celebrate on Lagba Omer because we're happy that the the Talmidim of Rabbi Akiva stopped getting sick and I think it's because they did tshuva tshuva means they did better they they started being nicer to their friends. And um, so today we're going to make children dancing around the fire. Now, from your packet, take out the packet that looks like this. So it's a black construction paper. It's a, 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 paper, um, a white piece of paper with children. They look like they're dancing. This is the fire. It's tissue paper, yellow and red tissue paper and log and a, and a brown log and stars, okay? We're gonna take the paper clip off very carefully and gently. I took yours already off of the picture. And we're actually gonna take the star part and the fire part and the log part and put it on the side and the black piece of construction paper, okay? 
okay? We're only going to keep the children playing, okay? Now we're going to color? And we're going to color it. Woohoo! Here's the crayons, and we're going to color it, okay? To me. So I'm going to take some pink, and I'm going to make the children smiling, okay? For the Mommy, lips. don't tell me. I... I'm just I'm telling more the camera, so we're not just quietly sitting, okay? You don't have to... Let's do the paper back. And, the one and then I'm going to make some, some like... brown hair because some of the children are going to have brown hair. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, still... I see that in the picture there is two girls and four boys. Which makes two and four make. So be what two and four make. Two and four make six. Six children that are going to be dancing around the fire. Okay. It's very hard to color mm. all of this. I'm I'm going to color the whole day. Okay. Now I'm going to send your mommies the picture of the children all colored, but for now. I'm going to stop coloring, and I'm going to show you what to do next. No. Okay, you can continue coloring. So, there are two girls, one, two, and four boys, which makes one, two, three, four, five, six, six children. Okay, now Maura's going to take a scissor, um, and you might have your mommy, or your daddy, or your sister, or your brother do this part of cutting, right? And I'm going to cut the children, not the ash, I'm going to cut out the children, okay? So we can have them dancing around one, two, three. And now we're actually going to do something a little bit fun with the fire. Mm -hmm. We're going to crunch the fire up. Okay. So do you want to take a break? And we'll continue coloring when the camera's off. Okay. okay. Now we're going to take can the you, fire can part. You, can you cut yes. it? One second. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do it soon. When the, you can do it now if you want. Okay. okay. So we're going to take the fire off from the paper clip. Do a quick little bow. Do a few steps. Or you can do it slowly later so that you cut it out nicely, okay? I am cutting. So here is the, the logs and the fire, okay? And we're going to take the yellow paper. This is really fun. So could you take a break and cut the yellow if you want to crunch it, Mommy? Yes, I can. Okay. Here we go. Now, this is really fun. You turn the log, the, you put the log on the onto the table. And now, mine is yellow, Toby's is red. It doesn't make a difference which okay. one is the first one. And you take one paper at a time and you crunch it up. But one at a time, no, 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 we don't tear it off. We crunch it up like this. We crunch it up. And then you take the next layer and you crunch it up. Oh, no. It's okay, we'll fix it. We'll crunch it up. And then I take the yellow and I crunch it up. Isn't that fun, the crunching? And then I take the red and I crunch it up. And then I sort of poof it up like that. Yeah, yours is beautiful. It's a big bonfire, bigger than mine. See that? And then I sort of spread it out a little bit in different directions like that. And then, so nice. And now, push it down and fluff it. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit in a different direction, not too hard. I want the fire to look a little bit like real fire. See, it's okay. And that's the fire, see? That's the fire. And the children. Okay. And then tomorrow, we are going to finish our project. Okay? So that's it for today. And tomorrow, we're gonna put, now we're gonna take the, our pieces and we're going to put it neatly away for tomorrow when we continue. So take your time in coloring all the children. 
and fluff up your fire and put it on your black piece of paper with your star and attached to your star is a picture of a fire that says Lagba Omer and you could put it someplace where nobody's going to maybe a little sibling is going to play with it for tomorrow when we do the video tomorrow when we finish up our beautiful fire with the children dancing around it I had so much fun coloring with you and crunching the paper Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. See you next time.